All right, we're here at the number 69. Gotta love it. Phil Nicoletti, Club MX Yamaha. And I brought the man, used to be Amart's guy, but now he's here. Introduce yourself, give us some background. Tell us how big of a pain in the ass Phil is, all that information. Uh, my name's Cameron Callahan. Um, I've been with, this is my second year with the club team. And uh, I'm filling in for Phil uh, for the for the West Coast. I'm, I'm Jeremy's guy on the East um, and outdoors. So uh, I've known Phil for, for since his days in Canada. So, I mean, I kind of, it, it wasn't hard to, to change and work with him. Um, I mean, Phil's Phil. He bitches about a lot. It's, you just gotta, you just gotta deal with it. Take it with a grain of salt. So, yeah. So it's uh, for, before we go over the bike. Is Phil a good test guy? Does he feel a lot of things, or is he just? I'm just gonna ride it. Uh, you know what? He is actually very picky. Um, he does test a lot. He's always want, always wants to try something. Um, you know, he comes off the track and he'll just grab the screwdriver from your hand and start clicking away on a suspension. So, uh, and I think he gets enjoyment out of that. He likes he likes tinkering and, and trying to make his bike as best as possible. So, yeah, I would say I would say he is probably one of the better test riders. So, I think it's something when you get older, you tinker more to try to make you feel more comfortable because you're chasing something, right? We're getting older, we're losing a little bit, so we're always chasing. Phil, probably chasing, so he's clicking, chasing, clicking. CC. Uh, all right, let's talk about the engine package. Jamie at Twisted Development does the engines, am I correct? Yep, that's correct. Um, so they, he came down, um, I want to say about a month and a half ago now, and uh, he had a couple different packages for the guys to try, and Phil actually ended up on the, the new package that Jamie developed. It's got a harder bottom to it. Um, actually it's the complete opposite of what jeremy and enzo preferred so phil phil likes to get as much as he can out of a bike and then tune it down from there whereas some guys like okay give me a little more power give me a little more power or phil's like give me everything you got and then we'll we'll make changes to that so uh yeah this one um phil's been on it for probably he started a month before uh before the season on it so yeah yeah, funny. I think I had a conversation with Phil. We did the FXR dealer meeting. He was saying he likes a lot of bottom end. And Jamie is known at Twisted Development to give you everything at once. And it's up to the rider or the mechanic to kind of, hey, we need to dial it back down. So that sounds very familiar. Yeah, that's uh, that's about how it went. So And even on the starts, it, Phil's main thing was he wanted to be able to get out of the gate. So this bike does that very well, as you've seen last weekend. He, him and Enzo both had really good starts. So, yeah. Why is it that Phil has all this power and he can't seem to uh, triple the rhythms? I mean, I don't know. That's, that's a great question for him because we ask ourselves the same thing. So <laughs> Just do the jumps, Phil. All right, on the suspension side of things, obviously Enzo, uh, Ross, and Yoshi take care of you guys over there. So how does Phil like his stuff? Is it stiff? Is it softer compared to the other guys? Um, I would say Phil's right in the middle. Um, he had this exact same stuff last year and it worked good for him. Um, I would say his shock is, is actually one of the best shocks I've seen. I wish everybody could have his set up like that. Um, so yeah, as far as suspension goes, Phil hasn't wandered too far away from his setting last year. I mean, it worked for him and the bike hasn't really changed. So yeah. Um, ergonomics, is Phil on a stock setup? Is his mounts down? How is he with his bars? Is he picky? Um, yeah, he rolls them back and forward, and you know, I won't I won't touch them during the <laughs> week, and he'll come in and, and move them around. But keyword searching again. Here we are again searching. That's right. Um, as far as pegs go, uh, he's on s standard pegs, um, but he's got down and back pegs, so he's down five mil and back five mil, um, and he's been on those for a while now. Um, seat, he's got a tall seat just guts makes it when he's got a bump way the hell back there i mean yeah like, i was looking at that the bump is on the last rib it's for when he uh, seat bounces in on on three ends and stuff what she doesn't do what she doesn't do yeah so <laughs> um yeah he's on a and he's on a pretty standard bar um it is one of the taller bars that miko runs but it, it's it's probably the most common bar through our guys so uh yeah Anything drastically different from last year that, I mean, obviously you're part of, of Amart and obviously you're on the 450 side of things as well. So anything different on the 250 side as far as engine packages besides, you know, obviously we know that Jamie did a little bit something different for him, but parts, um, new sponsors, anything like that? Yeah, we, uh, we switched to W, um, w wheels. We have Excel rims with W hubs this year. Um, as far as changes from last year, I wouldn't say many. Um, I know that you guys went from Pirelli to Dunlop. Pirelli to Dunlop, yeah. Um, that's new for us, so the guys are happy with that. 
And uh, other than that, th this is pretty much the same as his race bike last year, uh, minus the new engine that we uh, that we put in. So, so basically, you guys at home could pretty much buy this Club MX Yamaha. You can go to Twisted Development. You can use a lot of the same sponsors that the Club MX uh, Yamaha team run. And uh, surprisingly enough, I do not know why uh, number 69 runs a tall seat. I don't think he's that tall of a guy. But again, uh, these professional racers like certain things and they want to feel certain things when they do all of that really amazing stuff that we see on Saturday night. So uh, we give Phil a hard time here, but honestly, I think he's doing really well. Um, it's, it's some of the best riding that I've seen him do in a long time in Supercross. So he has a capable bike, he has a good team. Brandon and all the guys over at Club MX uh, have come a long way in the last couple of years. The bike has evolved and you can tell on the track these guys are getting good starts. Uh, the transitions and these guys' combos that are doing, uh, the motor can handle that. And obviously uh, using Yenzo suspension for me is probably one of the better uh, production style uh, aftermarket companies they can use with KYB. So. Um, the question that I've been asking the mechanics. Okay, two questions. One, do you still like to ride dirt bikes, and are you riding dirt bikes? Uh, I like to think I can ride, and then uh, every time I end up out on the track, I, I question why I'm out there. Um, but no, actually, our uh, track guy at club, Miguel, he uh, he just built a new amateur supercross. So every every chance we get, the mechanics kind of suit up, and we go ride. I just I've been riding the new 450 actually, so. I'm starting to like that thing, and the weather's getting a little bit warmer at clubs. So, Let's get this not guy, be, not hold on, hold on a second. The we'll key word, the key there. word that we use in these in these shows is searching. Uh, as a rider gets older, there's a lot of searching. <laughs> Are we doing that? Uh, we no were fun. for a little bit, but uh, we went back to last year's setting, and there's no more searching. So, is this bike better than last year's bike in your eyes? Uh Engine wise, yes, because Jamie from Twisted, we did a couple little different things um, this year compared to last year. Uh, Enzo and I are on different motors, but uh, chassis wise, I went back to how I was last year. Uh, one little slight change, can't say, but you probably know deep down. But uh, yeah, we're swigging and jigging for A2. He's going to jump all the combos tonight, people. Stand by. Here it comes.